Hello, this is Tim Bryce with the National Weather Service here in El Paso. This is a special weather briefing for the potential for heavy rains and flash flooding for Tuesday through Thursday of this coming week. This weather briefing was recorded Monday morning, September 5th. Well, what are we talking about? Heavy rain and possible flash flooding will be possible Tuesday through Thursdays as moisture and potentially the remnants of Tropical Storm Newton move up in our way. That could lead to rises on either the Rio Grande or the Gila River. And we may see another round of rain on Saturday and Sunday. Jumping right to it, this was the uh, latest track of Tropical Storm Newton as of Monday morning. You see it never reaches hurricane status which doesn't, it's not really important the exact track because it's bringing with it so much moisture. And we will see that moisture move into the region as early as Tuesday. This is the Weather Prediction Center and they're saying that there is a slight risk, which basically means flash flooding is possible on Tuesday across a large area of southern New Mexico and far west Texas. We'll continue to have abundant moisture so that on Tuesday there's still going to be at least a slight chance for flash flooding across the area. You'll see in some of the other graphics why they shift that, that greater chance of flash flooding over to uh, Arizona. Looking real quickly at the potential rainfall, we can see that through Thursday morning we have the potential of seeing widespread an inch of rain across the area. And that's all going to be associated with the moisture that's being funneled up in our direction uh, from Newton. So I don't like to get into the weeds very often with the computer models, but I, I thought I'd just show you real quickly some of the challenges we face as forecasters. Um, I'm going to show you three frames of one computer model and then three frames from the same time of another computer model and to show you the differences. But as you can see here, this model starts it off the, uh, the, the Baja of California on Tuesday evening you see the moisture is already well into here. I jump it ahead 24 hours. You see there it's, it's almost in south uh, western Arizona and 24 hours later it's up in uh, northeastern Arizona. Now let's jump back to Tuesday evening with another computer model. Again you can see that it is located off the Baja of uh, Mexico there. I jump ahead 24 hours to Wednesday evening uh-oh, instead of it being in southwestern Arizona, it's now in southeastern Arizona, much closer to uh, southern New Mexico and far west Texas. And you see there's a lot more precipitation associated with it. And if I jump ahead another 24 hours, instead of moving it up way to the north, it's actually drifted it into the Hilo uh, region. So those are just some of the things that we have to work with. Uh, right now the best bet is that it will move into southern uh, Arizona, probably southeast Arizona, but it doesn't matter where the exact circulation ends up going. It will be weakened, but it's the amount of moisture that it's bringing with it, and we do uh, have a lot of moisture on the way, and that could give us a chance for those flash flooding rains. So again, initially on Tuesday, how much moisture gets in here? Uh, one of the uncertainties is, is that how much rain we're going to get from that. Like I said, the exact path of uh, the remnants of Newton are a little bit in doubt. And then will the threat of heavy rain linger into Thursday? If we take that one model and it moves it way up into northern Arizona, we're not going to see much uh, of a chance for heavy rains on Thursday. Whereas if it takes that other computer model track, it's going to bring that chance of heavy rain on Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. So currently there are no watches or warnings in effect, but potentially we could see flash flood watches, flash flood warnings, and if we got enough rain in either the Gila or Rio Grande river basins, we could see some river flood warnings. So again, uh, going over the summary of the expected impacts, heavy rain and possible flash flooding from moisture associated with Tropical Storm Newton could impact the area Tuesday through Thursday. We could see some rises on the Rio Grande and or the Gila rivers. And again, I didn't even really touch on it, but we could see another round of rain heavy at times on Saturday or Sunday. So just something to keep in mind. Again, thank you for uh, joining us today. Uh, stay in touch with the weather. I know it's a holiday today. 
uh, get the latest updates, and I'm sure we'll be updating the forecast as things go forward. Uh, as always, you can get the latest information from our webpage at weather.gov slash El Paso, and also keep an eye on our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram for the latest information. Thank you.